today we are going to show you how to make a playpen for your rabbit's cage. Just like this. So what we have here is some Coroplast. And it's always better if you can find this stuff in a big solid sheet, but we can't we couldn't. We could only find it in these smaller pieces. So what we do is we get the amount we need and then we we'll just tape them together. But if you don't know what coroplast is, it is basically a plastic and it kind of looks like a cardboard. I don't know if you can see that. But this is what we make the base of the cage out of. Okay, and then Miley is zip tying these little squares together. These are squares that you get to put shell, you can make shelves and cubicles and stuff like that. These are like the best thing ever when it comes to using them for all sorts of things. They're just really handy. So like this, right Phoebe? Mm -hmm. And so Miley is going to make two sides that are going to be three squares wide. And then she'll make another side that has just two squares. And I bumped it. Do you need some help? Yeah, there you go. I think I got it Where's now. Some? Okay. Now see, Miley made this and it's nice and sturdy and it doesn't bend or anything since we overlap one of the squares. Okay, you don't side. care if I use these kitchen scissors, do you? No, I don't, I guess. Mom's fucking and waiting. <laughs> they were El Cheapo ones, so I'll just get some more. Okay, now, Brooke got it taped on both sides. And now she's going and she is marking four inches from the edge all the way around. Next, Brooke is going to score along all the lines. Being careful not to cut all the way through. With the exception of the very end. And we'll show you why that is in just a moment. While Brooke is scoring that, Miley is going to go change the bunny cage real quick. Get it all ready and to go. I think I'm going to take this off of just fill it up completely. Okay. Okay, and then once it's been scored, you flip it over and you have the non-scored side up. And then you bend it up along the score lines. I forgot to score this this part here. Oh, so you have to turn it over and do that real quick. Yeah. Then you have a cat that likes to try to help out. Helping you move it, making sure it gets moved just so. And then you just want to score this. You don't want to cut all the way through. Yeah. Basically, she's scoring just the flat part. So that way it can bend. Okay, okay so she got the flaps scored and, and has now turned it back over again.
And basically you just you bend over the flap just like that and, and then tape it down. I would recommend putting some tape um, along the bottom of it um, um, in case they pee um, so the way it doesn't leak out. Um, and then I'm choosing purple, actually my leech is purple, um, to, uh, it, um, and we're just doing this for decoration. Now it's time to get the bunny. I know he's trying to get away. Okay, you got him? Oh, Mom, careful. Or I just don't want that little gray one to run out. Is he tickling? Hmm? Kind of. But I do think he is scared, though, too. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you sure went all out in decorating that with tape. I thought you were just going to do around the bottom. No, this is my plan. Oh, well, it looks good, though. Look at that. You did a great job. Now it's time to just set it up. The blanket she's using is one of those really cheap fleece ones. Buy at Walmart for five dollars. Yeah, and um, she's been using the one those kind for her rabbit, right? Mm -hmm. The one in your room. 
and it works really well. It's like if they don't get too dirty, you can shake them off and then, you know, wash them in the washing machine. And then if they get really dirty, just throw them away and get a new one. You get a new one, what, about every several months or so, or yeah. three or four months, maybe? Um, you can use one blank wall for the size of Theodore's cage. I can use one. Or, um, I can cut a blanket in half. And then I can use that one blanket for two times, so. And these little cages or pens that we're making, they are awesome for guinea pigs and um, any other small animal like that. Like bunnies. Um, yeah. We originally used to make these for our guinea pigs when we had them. Oh, now the bunny cage goes in there. So they actually measured a little bit wrong and we only needed two squares on each side, basically. Mm -hmm. So took one off. Now we're just zip tying them on the corners. My hand smells smiley. Wait a second here. I just saw thought of something before you do that. I think this piece right here needs to go on the side and that needs to go on the end. Um actually um this one was too long for the side. Oh, so okay. See, um now you know what I meant earlier. Oh, okay. So, um but but this one works out perfect for this side because um it is just a little bit longer and um I can bend it towards the cage. And then yet we, and then yet have it be up against the oh. side. So okay. <laughs> See how Miley goes over the one and under the other on the corners. Oh, I have it on backwards. Okay. That way, when you cinch it down, it can't slide up. And then, um, and then I'm just going to use twisty ties to tie onto the cage. So way when this gets dirty, we can, um, it will be easier to take out. You know, well, maybe. Mom, wouldn't I have to change that once a month? Or maybe even sooner? Probably. <laughs> I don't think so. If mom has anything to say about it, it'll be done in like every week. Okay. Bad. I know I would he's have to change. Still little, yeah, yeah so. he's still little, so it'll last a while. But when he gets bigger, you're going to have to do it more often, I think. Yes, more often. More often. <laughs> Unlike Brooke, you don't don't Brooke's the bad example on that. She she goes way too long. Mom, I, I do. Once, I don't think he even wants to come out because he's eating that so much. I think I have to go in there. I can barely even reach him. There we go. Hey, Sylvester. Do you think that's a perfect thing for him? Mm -hmm. I don't like Sylvester. Hey, did he ever eat one of those? Probably. Because then I give him two. So I bet he already ate one of the lettuce leaves. Yep. Yeah. 